This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. In my last message in this series, I began a reflection on the Sixth and Ninth Commandments, which invite us to live a chaste life. I would like to continue the reflection in this message. The Church's teaching on human sexuality can be understood in terms of living holistically, that is, integrating body, mind, and spirit in a mutual gift and acceptance of persons. Chastity is a virtue that helps us live holistically. It helps us to integrate body, mind, and spirit to foster the mutual gift and acceptance of persons. By integrating the desires of the body with the mind and the spirit, we will develop the interior ability to say yes to the acts proper to marriage when they appropriately express the mutual gift and acceptance of persons, and no when they do not. Lust is a sin of the mind that views another person as an object to be used and is contrary to the mutual gift and acceptance of persons. Yet how do we know when sexual thoughts are sinful, when they are acts of lust? First, it is not wrong for a husband and wife to have thoughts and desires for each other that are consistent with the mutual gift and acceptance of persons. Second, it is not sinful to have a sexual thought just enter your mind about someone to whom you are not married. There is a difference between the normal sexual thoughts and feelings that arise, temptations to lust, and entertaining those thoughts. To be sinful, lustful thoughts have to be voluntary. In his book, The Courage to be Chaste, Father Benedict Groeschel provides a helpful guide to distinguish mere sexual thoughts from lust. We can ask ourselves three questions. When a thought comes into my mind, did I voluntarily add to or augment that thought? Did I respond to the thought in any physical way, such as voluntary arousal or some other action to augment that thought? For example, by looking at stimulating images. When I became aware of what I was doing, did I refuse to turn my attention to something else? If the answer to these questions is yes, especially the third, then we have crossed the line to lust. To avoid lust, it will not work to keep telling ourselves over and over again, I will not think bad thoughts. We need to be realistic. It is part of being human for sexual thoughts to enter our mind. We should avoid being anxious when that happens. Otherwise, the anxiety will just make matters worse. Instead, when we become aware of lustful thoughts, it is best simply to say a prayer and engage our mind in some healthy outlet, such as good music. In addition, we should be careful of what we watch and what we read so that we can avoid temptations to lust. By doing so, we are living holistically, integrating body, mind, and spirit to foster the true mutual gift and acceptance of persons. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.